let's look at Riemann sum tables. Okay, now imagine that we are given a table like this. We are not given a function definition itself. So we don't know what this f of x is equal to. Right? What we are given is a list of values. So for x equal to 0, f of x is 9. For 3, it is 7. For 4, it is 6. Okay, like that. Now what we have to figure out is uh, the area under the curve of this function. Okay, so that is what this Riemann sum table means. Okay, now let's actually do this. This is our first problem and see how we can do it. Nothing new. We have already done something similar previously. So here area of 0 to 9 would be equal to what? 0 to 9 would be uh, area of 0 to 3 plus area of 3 to 4 plus area of 4 to 7 plus area of 7 to 9 okay so let's see what each individual of these areas are so area of 0 to 3 would be what it would be 3 times what is this 3 this is 3 minus 0 that is the width of the interval is 3 now what about the height now either we can choose 9 or we can choose 7 now, if we choose 9, it means we are doing left-handed Riemann sum. Left-hand Riemann sum. And if we choose 7, then it is right-handed Riemann sum. Okay. So, let's take 9. Uh, then, area of 3 to 4 would be 4 minus 3 is 1 times. 7 area of 4 to 7 is 7 minus 4 is 3 times uh, 6 area of 7 to 9 would be 9 minus 7 is 2 times uh, 4 so this would be 9 3 is 27 7 18 and 8 now it's just a question of adding these up 8 plus 7 15 15 plus 15 33 3 plus 2 5 plus 1 6 now naturally uh, as we have already seen if we do the right handed this was left handed now, if we do right handed then the uh, approximation would be different okay once in a while we will do right handed as well so that is our first problem. Let's look at the second problem. So area of 0 to 10 is what we have to figure out. So area of the interval 0 to 6 is equal to 6 is the width and 5 is the height. So we are doing again left and Riemann sum. So that is 30 area of the interval 6 to 7 is 1 times 3 so that is 3 area of 7 to 9 is uh, 2 is the width and 2 is the height so that gives us 4 area of 9 to 10 is equal to 10 minus 9 is 1 and 4 so which gives us 4 so the area would be 3 plus 4 7 7 plus 4 11 1 41 let's do the third okay again area of the interval 0 to 10 is what we have to figure out so area of the interval 0 to 3 would be 3 is the width and 3 is the left hand values. So 
area of 3 to 5 would be width is 2 times 5. Area of 5 to 9 is 9 minus 5 is 4 is the width and value of the height is 3. And area of 9 to 10 is width is 1 times 5. So, this gives us 9, 10, 12, 5. So, if we add up all this, we get uh, 12, 22, 22 plus 5, 20, 22 plus 5 is 27, 27 plus 9 is 36, fourth one. So, now area in the interval 0 to 9 is what we have to figure out. So, area in the interval 0 to 1. Now, let us uh, this time do uh, right hand Raymond sum. So, width is 1, 5. Then, 1 to 6 is width is 5 times 6. Area of uh, 6 to 8 is width is 2 times 4. Area of the interval 8 to 9 is width is 1 times 2. So, this gives us 5, this gives us 30, this gives us 8 and this gives us 2. 8 plus 2, 10, 30, 45. Now, just for comparison sake, let us do the area. Uh, this was a right, right hand. Now, let us do left hand. Just to do a comparison. So, area of the interval 0 to 1 is equal to 1 is the width, 7 is the height. 1 to 6, 5 is the height and uh, 5 is the width, sorry, uh, height. Area of 6 to 8 is equal to uh, 2 width and height is 6. Area of 8 to 9 is equal to uh, width is 1 times 4. This would be 7. 25, 12, 4 and if we add it up, we get 12 plus 4, uh, 16, 16 plus 7 is 23, 23 plus 45 uh, is going to be 48. So, there is a mismatch, but it is an approximation. So, pretty close. Fifth one. Okay, so, again, area in the interval 0 to 8 would be uh, in the interval 0 to 1 it will be uh, 1 which is the width 6 which is the left hand value 1 to 2 will be again 1 times 8 2 to 6 4 times uh, 6, 6 to 8 would be 2 times 8. So, let us multiply them off, 8, 6 4 is 24, 8 to 16 and we add up, we get 6 plus 4 10, 10 plus 8 18, 18 plus 6 24, 2, 5, 54 square units. Sixth one. Again, area in the interval 0 to 8 would be from 0 to 3, it would be uh, 3 times 3. 3 to 5 would be 2 times uh, 4. 5 to 6 would be 1 time 5, 6 to 8 would be 2 times 7, 
this would be 9, this would be 8, this would be 5, this would be 14. So the area, total area would be 9 plus 8, 17, 17 plus 5, 22, 22 plus 10, 32, 32 plus 4 is 36. And one area under the curve in the interval 0 to 18 would be from 0 to 4, 4 times 4, 4 to 10 would be uh, 6 times 5, 10 to 13, uh, this would be 3 times 2, 13 to 14, 1 times 4 and finally 14 to 18 would be uh, 18 minus 4, 4, 4 times 2. So let's multiply 36, 4, 8. Add up all these areas. 8 plus 4, 12, 12 plus 6, 18, 18 plus 6, uh, 24, 4, 2, 3 plus 2, 5 plus 1, 6, 8, 1. Area in the interval 0 to 15. So, in the interval 0 to 1, it will be uh, 1 times 3. 1 to 3, it would be 6. Let's write the width first. It would be 2 times 6. 3 to 9 would be 6 times 7. 9, 13. 13 minus 9 is uh, 4 times uh, 9 and finally from 13 to 15 it would be uh, 2 times 2 times uh, 8 okay so this will be 3 this will be 12 this will be 42 this will be 9 plus 36 16 this will be 6 plus 4 2 8, 6 plus 2, 8, 8 to 16, 16 plus 3, 19, 1, 2, 2 plus 3, 5, 5 plus 4, 9, 9 plus 1, so 109 square units, 9, 1. Let's do it from both the right hand and left hand as well. Okay, so if we do right hand, what do we get? Area in the interval 0 to 2 would be 2 times 6, 2 to 4 would be 2 times 9, 4 to 6 would be um, again 2 times 6, then 6 to 11 would be um, so 11 minus 6, 5 times Two and finally eleven to fourteen would be uh, 11, fourteen minus eleven is three times of uh, four. So this will be twelve. This will be eighteen. This will be twelve. This will be ten. This will be twelve. And now let's add up all these areas. Eight plus two ten. Ten plus four fourteen. One. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 64. Now, if we do the same thing with left hand prime and sum, then in that case, what happens? Uh, from 0 to 2, it would be 2 times 3. 2 to 4 would be 2 times 6. From 4 to 6, it would be 2 times uh, 9 from 6 to 11 will be 5 times 6 from 11 to 14 it would be uh, 3 times 2 okay, let's see what it gives 6 12 18 30 and 6 add it up we get 8 plus 2 10 10 plus 6, 16, 16 plus 6, 
22 2 3 plus 2 5 6 7 70 okay now the 10th one let's find the area in the interval 0 to 19 okay so 0 to 1 it would be 1 times 9 1 to 3 it would be 2 times uh, 11 3 to 14 it would be uh, 14 minus 3 11 times 10 then uh, 14 to 18 it would be 4 times 9 and 18 to 19 would be 1 times 8 so this comes to 9 this is 22 this is 110 9 fourths 36 8 if we add it up what do we get 8 plus 2 10 10 plus 9 19 19 plus 6 25 2 3 plus 2 5 6 7 8 and 1 so 185 is the area okay 11th one okay again area in the interval 0 to 13 so from 0 to 2 it would be 2 times 6 2 to 4 would be 2 times 4 4 to 8 would be 8 minus 4 is 4 times 5 8 to 10 would be 2 times 4 and finally 10 to 13 would be 3 times 5 this would be 12 this would be 8 this would be 20 this would be 8 and this would be 15 okay so let's add up this uh, 8 plus 2 10 10 plus 8 18 18 plus 5 23 2 3 4 5 6 63 square units so area under this curve from 0 to 17 we have to figure out so area under the curve in the interval 0 to 8 would be uh, 8 is the width times 11 8 to 10 would be 2 times 10 10 to 12 would be uh, 2 times 13 12 to 13 would be 1 time uh, 12 and 13 to 17 would be uh, 17 minus 13 is 4 times 8 this would be 88 this would be 20 this would be 26 this would be 12 this is 4 8 32 so if we add it up what do we get 6 plus 4 10 plus 8 18 1 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 plus 8 17 178 square units okay let's do the 13th one so we have got some negative values as well okay let's see area in the interval 0 to 20 so in the interval 0 to 6 is 6 times 0 6 to 13 is 7 times minus 1 13 to 14 is 1 times 0 14 to 16 is 2 times minus 1 and 16 to 20 is 4 times 0 so this is 0 this is minus 7 this is 0 this is minus 2 this is 0 and the area is minus 9 square units okay now the 14th one now the area in the interval 0 to 13 we have to figure out so in the interval 0 to 1 it is 1 times 0 which is 0 1 to 3 is 2 times minus 1 which is minus 2 3 to 5 is 
टू टाइम्स माइनस टू विच इज माइनस फोर फाइव टू एट इज थ्री टाइम्स माइनस थ्री विच इज माइनस नाइन एंड एट टू थर्टीन इज थर्टीन माइनस एट इज फाइव टाइम्स माइनस फोर विच इज माइनस ट्वेंटी विच गिवस एस द एरिया एस uh 20 29 29 31 31 plus 4 35 so minus 35 square units okay 15 one okay area in the interval 0 to 20 so in the interval 0 to 3 it is 3 times minus 4 3 to 9 is Six times minus five, nine to eleven is two times minus four. Then eleven to twelve, it is one times minus three, and finally twelve to twenty, it is uh, eight times minus two. So this is minus twelve. This is minus thirty. This is minus eight. This is minus three, and this is minus sixteen. So the area is six plus three nine plus eight seventeen plus two nineteen one two three four five six minus sixty nine is the area. Now the sixteenth one area in the interval zero to eighteen we have to figure out. So zero to five, the area is going to be five times minus four. Five to six is going to be one times minus five. Six to eight is two times minus four. Then eight to eleven is three times uh, minus five. And finally, eleven to eighteen, it is seven times minus four. So this is minus twenty. This is minus five. This is minus eight. This is minus fifteen, and this is minus twenty-eight. So the area this would be minus seventy-six. Seventeen one. Figure out the area of the. Area under the curve from zero to thirteen. Okay, so zero to one, it is one times one. One to nine is eight times two. Nine to ten is uh, one times one. Ten to eleven is one times two, and finally eleven to thirteen is. Two times zero. This would be one. This would be sixteen. This would be one. This would be two, and this would be zero. And if we add it up, we get sixteen plus two, eighteen plus two, twenty. Okay. And finally, the eighteen one. We have to figure out the area under the curve from zero to sixteen. So zero to two. Now this time, let's for a change, do it with the Uh, right hand uh, Riemann sum. Okay, so this would be two times five. Two to eight would be uh, six times four. Eight to nine is one times three. Nine to twelve would be three times two, and finally twelve to sixteen. It would be four times one. Okay, so this would be ten. This would be twenty-four. This would be three. This would be six. This would be four. Sum it up: six plus four, ten. Ten plus seven, seventeen. One. Two plus one, three plus one, four. Forty-seven. The last problem. Let's do it with. Uh, Right hand, and let's do also with left hand. Right hand sum. So zero to two, 
would be uh, 2 times 4, 2 to 8 is going to be 6 times 5, 8 to 9 will be 1 times 4, 9 to 12 would be 3 times 3 and 12 to 16 would be um, 4 times 2. 4 to 8, 6 5 is 30, 4, 9 and 8. This gives us 9 plus 8 17, 17 plus 4 21, 21 51, 51 15 9. So that is Raymond sum tables. That's it.